Hello, I am Tim Heyer, Tulare County Superintendent of Schools. Many of you have questions regarding schools reopening next month and what we can expect as parents, students, educators, and community members. I would like to provide you with an overview of where we are today, but please know that things could be different in the coming weeks. If changes occur, you have my word that I will be back to share them with you. Let me begin by stating that through my daily conversations with educators and support staff, I can assure you that we want students to return to school. We believe that the best place for students to get the education they deserve is in our school campuses and in our classrooms. We believe that their social and emotional well-being is better developed by being with their classmates and teachers. We also agree that we have to provide an environment that is safe for students and staff. To do that, we must rely on the guidance from medical professionals at the state and county level as we make decisions about returning to school. The guidelines from the medical professionals call for six feet of social distancing when practicable, the wearing of face coverings, and for groups of students to stay together throughout the day to the extent possible. There are exceptions to wearing face coverings for students such as those with respiratory issues and those who are deaf or hard of hearing. These parameters have a significant impact on the number of students that can ride our buses, be in our classrooms, and participate in extra and co-curricular activities. In an effort to get as many students to campus as possible, many school districts are redesigning bus routes and scheduling multiple routes to make up for the reduced rider capacity. Schools may implement staggered drop-off and pick-up times to reduce congregating at school entrances and exit locations. Many districts are developing alternating attendance schedules where students will attend school some days and be involved in distance learning on others in order to meet the social distancing guidelines in the classrooms. The pending state budget trailer bill language calls for strict accounting of student engagement in distance learning if that is determined to be required as part of your school's educational program. Others are working to create physical barriers between students to further protect them from contracting or spreading COVID-19 while on campus. Whatever the final schedule and the physical layout of our campuses will be, please remember that our educators are doing their best to have students return to school as regularly and as safely as possible. All of these steps are being taken out of respect for the guidelines set out by the California Department of Public Health and the California Department of Education and with input from the Tulare County Public Health Officer. Schools are legally bound to follow any executive order issued by our governor and must adhere to California Education Code and all the laws of this state. Given all those parameters, our school districts are working diligently with staff, board members, and parents to develop a plan that will bring as many students back on campuses as possible, while at the same time staying within the parameters set forth by the medical professionals and state lawmakers. Finally, I want to provide you with some points to remember. There will be a variance from school to school based on the number of unique factors at each school site. There may very well be a time that a student or staff member tests positive for COVID-19 that will trigger a partial or full school closure for a minimum of 14 days. The number of students and staff present and the ability to maintain social distancing impacts the possibility of this occurring. Schools will provide additional cleaning and disinfecting to help reduce the risk of contracting or spreading COVID-19, but you should continue to enforce good hygiene practices at home. So when students return, those behaviors are a habit. I know and appreciate how important the education of your child or children is to you, and we are doing our best to make that happen under the most difficult of circumstances. We ask that you be patient, flexible, understanding, and most of all, involved in a positive way. Thank you for your trust and for taking the time to hear this message. Until we speak again, be well.